Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Points of Articulation. My name's Dave, and if you're new to the channel, welcome, everybody. Today, I'm looking at the Hot Wheels Elite Star Wars X-Wing Starfighter Red 5, released in 2017. Now, this vessel was first seen in Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope. Now, compared to the Hot Wheels line's normal releases, which are the smaller ships I review normally on the channel, this Elite ship features more details, more paint, moving parts, and much more metal. The die cast on here is very nice, and I have to say I'm very excited to look at this, so let's get moving. For the size of this ship, we're looking at 6 inches long, which is very nice. So everybody should know how my videos go by now. We're going to take a look at the mold, the paint, put on the stain, compare it to some other pieces, and then we'll be done. So let's get started. So let's get this video started going over the mold. Like in all my videos, I will go over all the major sections of the item, and then we'll get a nice close-up look to see all those fine details. So first up, we have our nose cone, fuselage, canopy, with Luke Skywalker in the cockpit. Very nice. We have R2-D2, our S-foil mechanisms looking good. Actually a fantastic looking ship. Now on the bottom, on the left and right hand side, we do have our torpedo launch tubes. Looking very nice. Tons of panel in here. Beautiful job. Then we have our engines. The intakes look amazing. You can see little fans inside of them. Beautiful work for the aft section. Nicely done. Recessed. Looking sharp. Then we have our wings which look amazing on the tops and bottoms. They do open, featuring some detailing in there, which looks very good. I think that came out great. Now, if you can notice, there is some screws holding the laser cannons onto the wings. Those are the only connecting points you will see on this bad boy. Because once we turn it over, there's no rivets. Nothing is down here. Everything is hidden or painted over, and it's amazing. Down here, we have some nice uh, line work, paneling, detailing, some removable paneling, which we'll look at in a couple seconds. And then, wouldn't it be Hot Wheels without some copyright crap located here and in the aft section? All in all, a very nice ship, and you can't forget those laser cannons. Looking fantastic. So, that covers all the major parts of the X-Wing. So, before we move on, let's take a quick look at the accessories and the moving parts of this vessel. This X-Wing also comes with some accessories in the form of panels and landing gear, which attach to our ship using magnets, which is an interesting idea. You get one panel for the bottom, two for the aft landing gear, and one for the forward landing gear. And we'll get a close-up, and then we'll see how to attach it to your vessel. First up is the forward landing gear, and we can see some great looking details here, especially on the inside. Very nicely done. They didn't even need to put all the detail in there, but they did. Magnificent stuff. I love the bottom here. Very cool. Next, you get two of these aft landing gears, and I think they look amazing. We can see all the little details inside. The side doors have detail in as well. Very cool. I think that came out great. Especially the landing pad. Very nice. And where it attaches, you get a peg. And then a little magnet. So that's pretty dope. And the final piece is a panel that goes on the bottom where the ball socket is for the stand. And what an interesting idea to cover that up. I think they did a decent job with that. But it has two pegs on the bottom. And a magnet to hold it on. So now let's attach to these bad boys. First, for the forward landing gear, get your nail and or a tweezer, depending on uh, what you can do better. Just pull that off. It comes off really easy once you get it. Then you'll take your forward landing gear and just slide it in like so. And the magnet will keep it in there for you. And as you can see, it looks pretty cool. So now let's go to the aft section. Now looking at the back of the ship, we have our paneling right here. Now my fingers are too fat to grab that, so what I like to do is get a tweezer and very easily you just wanna unpeg it and pop it off like so. Grab your landing gear 
and it just pegs in and then the magnet takes over and there you go I think that looks pretty interesting I don't like how it looks on the bottom and I thought maybe I put in the wrong one but as you can see I'll plug in the other version and you still get that gap on the side so that's just how it's made for the last piece we have the ball socket panel right here again I just grab my tweezer and very easily grab it pull it off like so once that's removed grab your panel pop it in and just like that you are good to go now once you have all your landing gear in and other panels it does actually hold it up and that is really cool now this x-wing also features some moving parts obviously we have the wings that can open which are very nice I think that came out excellent now that does stay open they don't want to shut because they utilize magnets you can see one here and on the other side and there are some on the bottom so when you open these up you know they're not going to go nowhere and then when you force it down then they just shut so that's kind of cool now other moving parts we have is the canopy which can open to feature Luke Skywalker. We can see a little targeting computer, joystick, gloves. Very nice. And then that can shut. Now the last moving part, and I found this by accident, is R2. You could actually take his head and turn it. How awesome is that? And it's a little hard to do because it's so small, but very nice. All in all, some great aspects to this ship. So now let's get a close-up look. Starting off with our closer look, we'll begin with the bottom of the craft. Here we have the nose cone. Nicely done. We do have some copyright stuff right there. Moving down, we can see some beautiful line work here. Some paneling. More copyright crap. Some raised sections. Looking very nice. And I love the angles on the bottom of this. Very cool. You can see all that beautiful work. Magnificent stuff. And there's more copyright crap. You can see the magnets. That's pretty neat. Cool mechanism. Going back. You can see the S-foil mechanisms. Look at all that detailing. Hey, do you guys hear the rain in the background? It's really coming down. Now for the top. Look at all this stuff. This is amazing detail. Worth every penny. And look at R2. Not only is he painted. But if you look closely, you can see some panel lines, his eye is molded, the projector, even his arms. Very nice, very cool. I think that came out great. And just check out all the work on the sides. Magnificent stuff. Just a beautiful piece in my opinion. Here we have the cockpit. We're going to take a look inside of that in a few. You can see some nice work on here, the translucent plastic as well. Just beautiful panel work here. Some ray sections. Beautiful stuff. And then we have our nose cone. Very nice. Now I did forget on the side here, on the bottom, we do have our torpedo tube. So that's kind of cool. Some little line work fantastic and it's the same for the other side for the most part a little different here and there but magnificent job very cool and then we have our nose cone again nice and now taking a look inside of the canopy opens up like so we can see some beautiful detailing in there on the sides on the back very nice. I like all the doodads in there. Little targeting computer. Cockpit chair. Luke's helmet and flight gear. Looking good. Even a little joystick. Very nice. They didn't even need to do any of this, but I'm thankful they did. Very cool. And moving on to the engines and wings. We could see some beautiful work here for the turbines and the engine intakes. Fantastic job. Moving down the sides, we can see some beautiful molding, little recesses on the wings, on the sides, nicely done. We'll take a look at the laser cannons last, 
but for the wings themselves, fantastic work, beautiful stuff. For the afts of the engines, we can see there is detail inside of them. They are recessed and looking good. I especially like the outsides. Very nicely done. Just an amazing job, even on this section here. Look at all those little pipes and hoses. Beautifully molded. Coming down. Look at all that. Nicely done done little raised sections beautiful for the wing we can see some beautiful detail here look at that fantastic stuff paneling little raised sections just an amazing job beautiful stuff now the other side is almost identical just a beautiful piece amazing stuff and then moving on to the bottom they are almost identical to the tops just minor differences here and there but on the whole a fantastic job we can see all this detail in here beautiful work I really do like this piece it is great awesome now for the interior of the wings when you open them up there is lots of detailing even in there. Some paneling, little recessed areas. Just mold it very nicely. It's a beautiful job. And also on the top. Amazing stuff. And there's those screws holding in the laser cannons. And that's the same for the other side as well. Everything's basically mirrored here. But an amazing job. And, you know, I'm tempted to get the other ones. You know, this looks so good. I don't think I could go wrong trying at least with the TIE Fighter. And now looking at those laser cannons, each one is identical. So we're just going to focus on one. Starting off with the back, we can see some great detail in there. It's a little recessed as well. Looking sharp. Coming on the main body. You can see some beautiful molding on there, held up with the two screws. I like the design in the front right here as well. Beautiful stuff. On the interior, nothing's really there. We do have a little recessed line work, but nothing to write home about. Pretty cool. I do like the fronts here. All little recessed shapes. That's pretty awesome. And then for the barrel... Nicely done. No real uh, detail on it. Just molded rods. Pretty nice. And then we have our tips. Beautifully done. I love how that is. Now these are a little fragile. So I wouldn't manhandle these. But they are strong enough. So that's pretty cool. So that's everything for the molds. So now let's take a quick look at the paint. And now looking at that paint on Red 5, this baby features around 17 different colors, believe it or not. For the main body of the craft, we're looking at a main color of tan. Looking very nice. On top of that, we have two types of dark tan, which is spray, which we can see from here and there. And then some sort of wash, which fills in lots of little crevices. You can see it down here very well. Pretty dope. Now moving on, we do have a black wash on the engines just in the back. And that looks kind of cool. Moving on from there, we do have red on the coal sign on the wings. The sides of the fuselage. Looking good. And also the bottoms. Pretty awesome. Moving on, we do have some yellow. And on the engine... Looking very nice. Moving on from there, we have various different types of gray. From on the sides, the canopy, the engine interiors, and the wings. Looking good. And on the bottom, there's no real gray to talk about. And that gray is also on some of the laser cannons. So right on. We also do have some dark black spray. From time to time, it does pop up. So that's pretty cool. Again, not really on the bottom. All the detailing seems to be on the top of the vessel. Then we have some silver 
and some brown. On the S-foil mechanisms, it's almost like a rusty brown. That brown's also on the engines here. Looking kind of interesting. We have silver and blue for the R2 unit. And then when we open up the canopy, on Luke Skywalker and the cockpit, we have orange, red, white, metallic gray, and then I would have to say a dark brownish black for this piece right here in the front. All in all, a fantastically painted piece. So that does it for the mold and the paint, so now let's compare this to some other pieces, and then we'll conclude the video. And just like other Hot Wheels ships, it comes with a cool translucent stand. Just peg the ball into the socket, hear that click, and just like that, you're good to go. And you could get this in a lot of cool positions, wings open or shut. As you can see, it's got a lot of maneuverability on there, and that's kind of cool. But I gotta be honest with you. Seeing this ball reminds me of when Hot Wheels did Star Trek ships, and the plastic was horrible. This ball would crack off and get stuck in the joint, and I am deadly afraid of that. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take off this piece. I'm going to take the flat panel here, put that there so it's flush, and I'm going to use my flight stand, which you can get for under 20 bucks. And with a little finesse and TLC, boom. And look, it's not going to drop off. It's stuck there. It's got the friction tips. That is awesome. Now, I heard some people say that the contact that this makes with models could uh, mess up the paint. But you know what? On the whole, I really don't care. I think this looks much more better than what Hot Wheels gave us. Is it more secure? Uh, probably not. But I dig it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And now for a quick size comparison with the Hot Wheels Elite X-Wing Fighter seen in the center. First on the left hand side we have the Hot Wheels Normal Release X-Wing Starfighter. And we can see the drastic size difference between the two. And finally on the right hand side we have the Star Wars Black Series 6 inch Ezra Bridger. Nice looking figure. It's nice to have the Rebels crew almost together. We need Zev. All in all some nice looking Star Wars collectibles here. And that does it today for my review of the Hot Wheels Elite Star Wars X-Wing Starfighter Red 5. Now, if you've been watching my channel, you know I love to review the Star Wars Hot Wheels Starships. And sometimes when I'm critiquing these ships, I have to remind myself that they're made for kids. This ship, however, made by Hot Wheels, is made for the adult collector in mind. This is a beautiful model for the mold A plus work. Not only do we get some great fine detailing, but moving parts, removable panels and landing gear, utilizing magnets, but it's mostly die cast metal and that is great. Now for the paint, another A plus job. We have up to 17 colors working together and they really went above and beyond with this. Not only do we get the colors we know from an X-Wing, but we get some airbrushing, some washing, everything works together and I think it's amazing in my opinion. And don't forget, it does come with that translucent stand. I'm not the biggest fan of the ball and socket technique there, but it is cool they gave us something interesting to hold up our ship. Now, I'm not going to be the dead horse. I love this ship. I think it is very nice. And I am tempted to buy the TIE Fighters and other vessels in the line. So if you would like to see reviews of other ships, let me know in the comments below. So that's everything I have to say about this awesome fighter today. I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, hit that like button. And if you'd like to see new reviews every Thursday, subscribe. Again, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I hope to see you next time. Bye, everybody.